Hello, Gale. Miss Humdrum, I presume? I've been practicing for this one. Oh, hello, er, you. Um, I looked up what women sound like during the break. I'm the private detective you contacted. And yeah, let's do you remember the, the secret, secret code? code? Uh, it might, it might be a different one for her. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. The code word is purple panda. I'm here to solve your case. Uh, who is it, Dan? Uh, it's Jenny, dear, the Leclu girl. She doesn't see so well without her glasses. Oh, hello, Jenny. Oh, I, I see. I'm afraid I don't see so well without my glasses. It's okay, Mrs. Shatner. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with her hearing, though. <laughs> what did she say? I said there's nothing wrong with your hearing, dear. Oh, no, thank you. I've already eaten. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. I believe you had a case for me. I believe we you do. had a case for me! We do, Purple Panda. Great. So what's the trouble? Haunted by the ghost of a former lover? Worried to be poisoned by a mad uncle? Something so dark and gruesome I can't even begin to imagine the horror? Well, I've lost my reading glasses. Oh, fuck. And there it was, a real car. <laughs> uh, really? That's the real case we were brought all the way down here to solve? <laughs> yep. <sighs> Someone called the authorities. I'd like to report a murder. I thought this was finally going to be a good one. What do you think, Jenny? Can, uh, can you help? Sure, Mr. Humdrum. I'm going to need to ask you a few questions. Sounds good. It's the case of the missing glasses. Jenny LeClue. Well, let's wow. see if we can Freckles find on the them neck. on her body. Say what? Freckles on the neck. That's some detail I didn't expect. Yeah, right? Which, that might just be part of the art style, but it definitely does look like freckles on the neck, and I appreciate ne that. Neckles? Yeah. <laughs> Neckles. <laughs> well, that's what they usually look like. <laughs> that's where they go. Jenny recognized the distinctive indentations left behind by a pair of spectacles. I hate that, by the way. You don't wear glasses, right, Tim? No, but I wear sunglasses, and that happens often it's enough. It's so bad. Yeah. She must have been wearing them recently. You still have marks from your glasses on the bridge of your nose. You probably lost them within the last day or two. Oh, I never would have thought of that. Of course, you can't see without your glasses. <laughs> when do you last remember wearing them? I'm really not sure, Dan. You, uh, had the Metro Tuesday book club. Oh, yes. We were reading Fifty Shades of... Wait, what? <laughs> Fifty that's not Shady what that Grapes. Says. That's okay. not what that all says right. at all. I'll take it. I'll take it. I've never been interrogated before. This is such fun. Well, let's keep going then. Uh, bionuclears? Oh. <laughs> 30 times magnification, Jesus. 30 times man magnification. Yeah, it helps me. Does that help you see the portrait better? <laughs> Do you have to carry a pair of binoculars? She uh, doesn't go anywhere without them. I presume you don't wear glasses when you use binoculars. No, I can't get my eyes close enough to the eye cups. Hmm, I see. You really are very good. The best. Do you think she hid them so that way we could have this interchange with her? The way that he is talking is like, do you think you can help us, Jenny? Yeah, I like, know, right? Like the way you talk to a kid, which I don't think she appreciates. Not at all. <clears throat> How long have you been solving mysteries? For I'll ask the questions, thank you! <laughs> God damn. I'm the interrogator right here! Wait, how is she holding the pallet? <laughs> That's an excellent question. Tallow uh -huh. blue. Shout Phalo. out to uh, shout Come out to my on. old friend, Mr. Bob Ross. Mr. Bobby. It's probably got you know like uh, one of those <sighs> Velcro tennis ball mitts. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And how it's got the strap on the back. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what I expect with that palette. It's got some that sort of sense. handle on the back. We used to throw either those that, like frisbees and try to catch the ball. Either that or video games that. are bullshit. <laughs> that also. <laughs> oh yeah, you used to throw them like really. 
Yeah, it would was be it like was... after you lost the ball. <laughs> no, it was next level. We would oh. catch with the frisbee, like it, oh, we would try to land I it see. on there. Yeah. I see. Extreme. I expect. Uh, I expect you're trying to find it difficult. <laughs> you'd find it difficult to paint without your glasses. Oh no, I never wear them to paint. What? I like to feel the canvas to interpret the colors. The colors oh, on so my you're skin. A, mm. An abstract artist. She's an incredible painter. You should have her paint something that looks kind of vaguely like you. Thanks, but I don't mix business with pleasure. Ooh. What's next? Fingerprints? Polygraph test? It's like you're reading my mind. All right, uh, we got three more clues here. Pocket. What about what's on the canvas? Wow. Does that mean nothing, or did you let go? I, I didn't let go. Yeah, probably just nothing then. Weird, because it's definitely like, yeah, see how it's, oh, oh, got it. Sticker! Nice! It's Mr. Bean, or whatever Mama got his name a new is. sticker. That's a good one, too. Wait, ah. what? There oh, we go. Just a grab. So hey. then, if that wasn't that, what does it want me to go in on this for? Uh, great question. Up a little bit, maybe? Or all the way at the bottom, one of the two. I don't know. Remember how it would stick out? That. Oh, there you go. I guess I wasn't quite on it. Odd. Flea biscuit. Wait. That's a movie? Is she a betting woman? Yeah, that's oh. bad odds. Gotcha, gotcha. Jenny had often snuck through the hole in the fence at Grumblings to watch the races. And that's what she uses the binoculars for. Yeah. She could understand why the dogs ran so hard. Oh, boy. They were chasing the promise of food. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> what What the adults were chasing was less relatable. Don't worry, Dylan. You're almost done with the recording. Then I'll feed you. I'll feed you. Where was that? I'm so hungry. I notice you're a gambler, Mrs. Humdrum. You've been to the Greyhound races? That was, uh, yesterday. We always go to Grumman's on... Wednesday. <laughs> Did you take your binoculars with you? Of course. How else am I supposed to see the puppies? Interesting. Have you figured it out yet? The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't worry. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> we'll kill something. Anything in your vagina? <laughs> oh my god, you see the little fucking, the magnifying oh, glass no. came up like at oh, the oh. wrong time. Yep. She actually does have a tear in her pants pocket. Oh shit. Snagged on something. A, that's a large hole in your pants. You must have caught it on something. But I know they didn't fall out of those pockets because women's pants have no pockets. Yeah, she would have put them in there. Did you have uh, trouble climbing down the ladder, Mrs. Zumdrum? Well, yes, I did. How on earth or farther did you know? <laughs> There's a tear in your pants pocket. Well, what do you know? I didn't realize these pants even had pockets. There you go. I feel like you know more about me than I do. This is amazing. And one more clue. Really? There's still one more? Yes. Tiny All the feet. Way down yep. here at the feet. Yeah, I know, right? That's always the last place you go. <laughs> uh, hair. Up. Uh, that is an expensive updo. Over damn. six inches. Looks freshly blow dried. A professional job. Your hair looks lovely today, Miss Umdrum. Is that a new style? Thank you, Jenny. I had it done yesterday. They told me to take my glasses off, but... Oh, Dan didn't notice. Uh, yes I did. I just don't think it looks that great. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> they call it the Queen's Good Quaff. How do you know how to pronounce that word, and yet every other thing we've ever read you stumble and stumble across? Because I'm actually awake now, Tim. <laughs> oh, God. Well, it's certainly big. Big, bold, and beautiful. Title of my sex tape. Oh! And expensive. <laughs> That's the DLC. <laughs> but I'm worth it, Dan. Danifer. Who could put a price on that uh, beautiful head of hair? 
You're not so bad yourself, hot stuff. Come over and give Daddy some sugar. Give us some sugar, baby. You are so thorough. Any more questions, Mrs. LeClue? I think I have everything I need here. So, huh. where are the glasses? Bedding slip. Binoculars. And... Well, in pocket, I don't see how that's really relevant. I don't either, because that happened on the ladder. Unless we're spreading everything out, in that case, haircut, because it, she would have had to go uh, to the hairdressers. I Yeah, exactly. I'm thinking it's a haircut, too. Not just for bird watching hey. anymore. Gail was at the races. Gail was at the races last night. She had to remove <laughs> her glasses to use the binoculars. Okay, and we're gonna continue extrapolating. I could, I could be, be eating, eating cupcakes. cupcakes. Oh, Gail you're also right, Jenny. Had her hair cut recently. It's fluffy and big, and could easily hide a small object. Oh my God! No, no, they don't do your hair around what's on your head. <laughs> Ugh. Solving a complex mystery like the case of the missing glasses was so tough work. Uh, not really, dude. But now came the most satisfying part. Delivering the dramatic... <laughs> How is that? Nailed it. <laughs> Fucking hey. nailed it, dude. What? What? Detective. Okay. Let's review the facts. I assume this is how you could do the reveal. You could do the reveal like an author, or you could do it like a detective. Oh, now. for suspense or for right. One, logic. Not only do you love your binoculars, you could have come. You come to depend on them for bird watching, greyhound watching, basically anything far away watching. That is very true. I immediately sense that two optical devices, your binoculars and glasses, were incompatible. Thus, to use one, you must remove the other. Uh, fascinating. Fact two. Yesterday, you changed your hairstyle. I did. You are on the nose. Though fun, it's also impractical. And so tall, that it could no. easily conceal a small object. I see where this is going. You can't see anything! Please, don't interrupt me! <laughs> <laughs> She's a feisty after, one. After much research, deliberation, and debate, I've concluded there is only one place the missing glasses could possibly be. They've been on your head the whole time! The defense rests! Oh, so they are right there on top of my head. Uh, that's incredible. What, truly, what a talent. Jenny, you are amazing. They are always the last place you look, aren't they? But I can't see. Alas. Technically, you can't look on top of your head. What? <laughs> a master detective in the making. What would we have done without you? Misses the clue. Well, you wouldn't be able to see anything, that's for sure. Uh, Gail, don't, 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 don't forget to say your lines now. Don't, don't, don't be looking at other <laughs> things and thinking about other things and forget to say your lines now. And don't forget to pay the girl. <laughs> Sorry, I was eating saltine crackers. Of course. Silly me. No, I was totally drifting off and thinking of my next joke and then remembered that I kind of needed to do a voice. <laughs> You must be present at all times. Yeah. You must be rewarded generously for all your hard work. Here you go. A cookie. It's a goddamn quarter. What the fuck? Now, don't spend it all in one place. Mrs. LeClue. Thanks. I'll do my best. I'm going to go buy a third of a soda. <laughs> Was it actually a quarter? I'm pretty sure. Milestone Shit, and mediocrita. Mediocrita. Uh, case closed. Case they were closed. on her head the whole time. Way too easy. Uh, what's the guy from Aqua Teen Hunger Force? The the Shake. Master is his name shake. just Shake. Master Shake, because there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Built a rapport with Dan. Yup. Identify yourself with credentials versus code. Left Wyatt to do his job. Oh, we could quiz Wyatt about the power outages. Huh? Okay. I mean, we coulda. So. Regular, so the other way with our coffee would have been six sugars, a splash of milk, and a dash of cinnamon. Oh, damn. Do you want some coffee with that? Yeah, for real. That's cool. I, I, yeah, I, I, I like this a lot. And I like that you get to see what the other choices, like, kind of would have been, especially with some of these that are a little bit more esoteric, like what your coffee order would have been. Yeah. Um. It doesn't say how you would have delivered your denouement like a mystery writer, but it does confirm that, yes, that's how you deliver your denouement there. It wasn't asking yes. a specific question about that, so get ready for other questions about 
your style of your delivery, not necessarily what you're going to say. Yeah. And it's almost like experiencing both because you know what'll happen, but now you'll want to go back and play it to see how exactly it goes. Right. And it's not like the outcome is probably going to be much different from those smaller no. decisions. It's not a forced re replay. Right. It might just change a little bit in how you interact with the world, with what yeah. the passcode is going to be with CJ, with whether or not she recognizes Purple Panda as the pass, you know, little yeah. shit like that, I think. I think. We'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll do two playthroughs, just yeah. to be safe. Sure. Are you finally ready, Keith? <laughs> wow, what an amazing detective. Glasses on her head. Who could have guessed? Oh, you heard. What do we do without Master Investigator Jenny LeClue? Oh, I thought it was pretty cool, Jenny. And her whole nickel? You must be Oh, so that's even worse. Yeah, that's Ugh. more than her mom makes in a month. Oh! I, I mean the school system. Come on, guys. Let's all just... Hi, Jenny. My grandma called. She wants her sweater back. Oh, oh how wonderful. It was to joke around with friends. I, I've had enough of this shit. Jenny, <laughs> Jenny pulls out a gun. Just straight up goes and beats their asses. What's about to happen? Are I you going to roast her? I am absolutely roasting the shit out of her. This is going to be great. Oh. This is going to be amazing. God. Oh, she's got nothing. This is literally my favorite part of any argument. Is looking over somebody once over and being like, and what things do you hate about yourself the most? Oh, shit. We're about to be really mean. Okay, listen here, bitch. Your skirt's iron, but it's a little bit uneven. And the work of a distracted housewife. So I'm thinking that your mom probably has some difficulty there. These brand new hideously overpriced shoes clearly overcompensating something on your father's end. Your dad's sleeping with Deborah's mom again, isn't oh! he? What? No, what? No! How, how do you... Ah, oh, Jenna, Jenna, I don't know anything. Ah, oh, wow, Jenna, that was cruel. Who even says something like that, Jenna? Ah, oh, don't cry, Veronica. <laughs> She's just a weirdo, nobody. Jenny LaHue and the kids are missing friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, good one, Veronica. Uh, let's get you home. Uh, are you coming, Susie? Thanks for the coffee, Keith. And the extra sugar. Uh, what? Oh, uh, of course, it's, oh. Uh. Nothing special at all in the same thing he does for everyone. Oh, uh, okay. See you around, Keith. We are totally gonna wreck, wreck that shit so hard. Uh. Well, that went well, shall we? Er, oh, uh, yeah, I've... Got no customers now, anyway. Well, I mean, it is kind of closing time, right? I don't know how long a student is supposed to be working at a coffee shop next to a dangerous glowing lake. I mean, Jenny, you're oh, kind of a bitch there. <laughs> Whatever. So, Listen, so good, I did though. what I had to do, okay? Wow, he I is super neck. tall. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing exciting ever happens here. I'm so tired of these simple cases. Uh, I don't know. I think simple Fru frustration. Yeah, yeah. Like, that thing with that girl back there was really just pent-up bullshit over the 15th time that Oof. she's attacked me. Yeah. It's not like we're really a mean person. Yeah. It's just that you shut that shit down. We're not going renegade here. Right. Yeah, we're not going full renegade. Uh, going punch how am I supposed to become a real detective if there's no real crimes to solve? Oh, you, you helped that old lady. The glasses were on top of her head. It wasn't that big of a deal. Darn. I didn't hit the bird. Thanks, Keith. <laughs> but it was stupid, and everybody knew it. Including your girlfriend. Oh, she's not my girlfriend. And you really mustn't let them treat you like that. You should stick up for yourself. You're a oh, good boy. They don't mean anything. Who's got very knobbly knees, but it's okay. Oh, God, leave my knees out of this. Sometimes you just gotta speak up and say how you feel. Well, I... You can't just let people walk all over you, Keith! Okay. Oh. <laughs> Literally what we're doing right now. Yeah, exactly. Hurrah! Nailed it. Stop. Wait. 
You probably would have hit a bird. No, no, no. That's the island next to the thing with the guy with the thing. Oh. Oh, jeez. Not in this ghost town. Nothing ever exciting happens here. Certainly nothing about throwing rocks into the middle of a lake that we didn't see in the earlier cutscene. That's not so bad, Jenny. Don't you ever wonder what it'd be like to live somewhere else? Oh, yeah, like if there were other worlds out there and we could just like take a raft and go to other worlds. Who am I kidding? There's nowhere else for miles. It's like this is made up in somebody's imagination or something. Uh, I think she's hope. still hopeful. Yeah. yeah, she's positive. Yeah, Jenny's still a positive person at heart. Like, ooh, nice. I keep skippage. thinking she's going to hit him in the head, too. I know, right? Bop. Oh, shocks. <laughs> I see practice is going well. Is your dad still pressuring you to play? Well, uh... Come on, Keith. You hate basketball. And tough love, but you're the worst player on the team. Oh, not the worst. You're well on the bench anyway. Uh, Why don't you just tell him you don't want to play anymore? It, it's a... Strasbury! Tradition. That's my point, Keith. This whole town is dead, stuck in the past. Everyone is just doing what they're told without questioning why. Where's the ambition? The sense of adventure? Oh. Are we still talking about basketball? Uh, trick shot. Yeah, definitely going for the trick shot. Kobe. I'll show you what for. Oh, how's your mom? How's your mom? She seems sleeping with your dad again. Oh, whatever, man. Adults will be so, adults. No reason she's so focused on her job. I mean, it's understandable. It's been almost a year since... Since... And I heard he's got a big peepus. <laughs> he's certainly had strawberry peepus all over his buttons. Strawberry. Wait, what? <laughs> Ra yeah, raspberry peepus. <laughs> and now she's planning to go away for the weekend, but she won't tell me why or where or with who. Oh, yeah? She was definitely acting weird earlier. Maybe she's... Oh, lonely. And maybe she's, like, going out with my dad or something. You know what? What? Uh, I am? Wait, what? <laughs> you shouldn't be alone right now. Actually, your dad told me that they were meeting in the library. Oh, they're probably fucking. In the library. <laughs> okay, I need supplies. <laughs> Two of Mr. Bean's finest, please. To go, of course. Here's my payment in full. Mwah! Oh. Jenny, that's a nickel. I. But the rest of my tab? <sighs> Thanks for the pep talk, Keith. I feel much better now. You always know what to say. He's sitting and is yeah. almost as tall as she is. I just they, want to point that out. His hair quaff lines up just a bit. Yeah, exactly. You always know what to say to make me feel better. Even when you're <sighs> towering 14 feet above me. Lost stone. Do you want it? Of course I do. Give it a goddamn thing! Thanks! Hurrah! Oh! oh. Woohoo! Bullseye! Oh, that's what they were aiming for. <coughs> you mean the switch? Oh. Switch. What the hell? Is that why the lake glows? Is that why there was magnetic interference? Oh, the radio! Ah! Uh, so many questions! Uh, so many questions! Keith was, was an excellent listener, or maybe he just didn't speak much. Either way, Jenny really enjoyed the little talk. Or maybe he couldn't get a word in edgewise. Wow, really? Really? Jenny biked briskly towards the library, back on campus to surprise her mother. Nothing excited ever happened. Uh, that other guy's gone. It's me again. <laughs> she grumbled unaware of the great events of that lion's store just around the corner. Uh, is this the chapter where we end up walking in on our mom boning Dean Strawsberry? Strawsberry. If so, I'm going to need a little bit to mentally prepare for that. So I think we're just going to go ahead and make this an episode right here. And uh, if this is the one where we catch marital infidelity, then we'll see you guys next time. Thank you all so much for watching. You can watch this on Twitch or YouTube.com slash Tim Lethwich. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. We'll see you next time. Get, re get ready for the Strausberry jam. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. Gross. Yeah, from Bye. his peepus. Bye.